Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse, or this episode. We got more episodes than Gunsmoke. Yeah, you're right about that. And you've been on a bunch of them. <laughs> But, but you always got one job you got to do, and you keep getting better at it. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback. Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. show something but we've been selling uh, I've been selling Richard's jewelry right and left yep and we've cut it down to, but we still got some but people just need to stop me I got a couple from Manchester that ran over one day and caught me in here and bought a lot of it but if anybody want any information on this custom jewelry from Richard's jewelry call me at 931-581-4411 Oh, I am giving some heck of a deal. That's some nice jewelry, real nice. Well, those uh, diamond studs there? Yes. We looked up to see what the cost of those diamonds are now, and one of those diamonds costs more. Right now, the value is more than we're selling both studs for. Man. Can't beat that. But we've got some real unique ones in there. There's one in there that's uh, back from the back in the 80s it's a double horseshoe i've got, got it I, I haven't had it that long though but we've dug out everything of richards that we can find and uh once it's gone it's gone now the I good, like, the, like the one with the bits oh right yeah there. that's, yeah, that's a nice. great that's a great mm -hmm. bracelet that end i figured a blacksmith would have done purchased that thing but we've also got the action device we're going to sell those their suggested retails 350 we're going to sell those for 300. I had one lady told me, she said, I won't see it. I just like the concept. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. She just liked the fact that it was a, an action device like our horses were. Yeah. And it gets it done. But anybody see anything, just give me a holler. Christmas is coming up, and we've got a bunch of it. Oh, yeah. Another thing we're going to talk about is uh, 
the Todd guys. I'm gonna call them the guys now. CJ keeps saying they're brothers, but they're not. They're father and son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but here's where they just walked out in the pasture and got a mare, put a bridle on, or not a bridle, but ha had a halter on, just put that lead line on her, and he he ran her through the obstacle course. That's pretty neat. Oh, that's a neat thing with them horses. Well, this is boot camp for a horse now. Sci-fi went through it. There ain't nothing that you can't do with sci-fi now. And as soon as uh, Knoxville, or as soon as the North Carolina shows are over with, we're gonna see how he races. I think he'll do it. He, he does a little everything. Hey, he, he can move, I know oh, that. Yeah. So we're gonna find out. He's big enough. No, big enough, tall enough. Mm -hmm. Fast enough. I tell you what, people, take them horses that you don't want to show them, you want to trail ride, take them out there to the Todds. Justin and Jackson, they will get them ready that you take them out anywhere you want to. They will go. 931 434 8420. Nice place. Oh, yeah, that is, a, that is a nice place. Now I'm fixing to put you on the spot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, Jeremy can't judge. That's what the lady said. <laughs> said, said, said boy, you can't judge. <laughs> you was right. I told him that. He said, hey, old woman said that. I said, yes, you did too. I said, she told you, did it? <laughs> but I want, I want y'all to look at this video. You talking about fun. Now, Jerry, tell us about this. I tell you, this is a bunch of people that just get together and bring some horses and just have this is a good time. I mean, they support different things like that right there. That shows for breast breast cancer and stuff, and they donate money to breast cancer awareness and stuff. I seen one down there with pink shoes on. Yeah, mm -hmm. had, they a had a package. Pink with, with pink shoes on. But I mean, it's just like when this horse business first started, everybody got together and is having fun. Yeah, you know, and that's what it's supposed to be. That's what this horse business is supposed to be. That's what it is. But I will say this now, they they have good ones and I tell you what I like about it, it's just come as you are. Yeah. You whatever you got on you just show that horse and having and having fun. But now the judges. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean Brad and Jeremy. <laughs> but now they had um I mean these horses right here, that's what when you're in the horse business and you do this, this this supposed to be a person hobby. Yeah. And, stuff, and, and, they, and you're supposed to have fun at your hobby. Yeah. Well, and, it is. Yeah. You know. Well, those, uh, those people, I watched that video and a lot more. They are having a good time. Oh, they're they not, are. They're not worried about it. They're just out there having a good having time. Having a good time. That's and, it. and that's all that matters. And that's you know, you bring like. a lot of people like that and they keep crying down because it's, it's come back to that horse. If you get a person that's involved in that horse, I mean, it, that's all they think about is horses, and they don't think about nothing else but just horses well, and having fun. Well, you ain't got time to think about yeah, a whole lot. that's more. right. You got to water them, feed them, take care of them. Now, we got the uh, tomorrow night North Carolina Championship starts. They got uh, Dean Baird, Nathan Clark, and Mickey McCormick judges yes. up there. Mm -hmm. And that's where you're headed, right? Yes, I'm headed you, that way. And Jeremy's already up there. Yeah. He, he's, he left early this morning. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, I tell you what, we're going to look at some World Grand Championship video. Here's your owner, amateur, novice World Grand Championship. Tell you what, the, these shows that we're having now, Jerry, a lot of these horses that won World Grand Championships, they truck off up to North Carolina. Yes. They might get beat. You, you are right. If you don't want to get your World Grand Championship, North Beat, I think <laughs> don't, don't, go North beat. Carolina. don't go to North Carolina showing, I'm going to tell you. You really don't want to go to East Tennessee either because, you know, East Tennessee comes next. Yes. Now that you got this weekend, the 6th, 7th, and 8th North Carolina Championship, then you come back and in in, up in East Tennessee, the 20th and the through the 22nd, you got the Smoky Mountain, uh, the East Tennessee Fall Classic. Yeah. But you also, at the same time, the one that I'm going to, is in Alabama because this is the last horse show that will ever be at Decatur, Alabama in the arena down yes. there because they, they have sold that facility. They are going to be moving their horse show and I hate to see that because 
That camp's mile a mile deep. John Kemp and her crusaders down there, I'm gonna call them, they, they do such a great job. Oh, yeah. that, but uh, they've raised millions of dollars for the for the Camp Smile a Mile and the kids and it's a it's a shame that now they're gonna have to find another home but I'm sure they will they'll find another place and they'll do an excellent job oh I like I like that show down there in Decatur I mean that was always a, a real nice show been there for years and years ever since I was a little kid they always had a a horse show down there. Well, they always have a good one. Yeah. I mean, they've mm -hmm. gone from three nights to two nights, but they still, they have a real good show down yes. there. Now, they'll they'll have Brent Ryder, uh, Ryan Parker, and Chris Zan. They're going to be doing the judging, but now there'll be a lot of good horses, horses go yeah. down there. Mm -hmm. Right there he is, Fly Dragon flying Shannon Hart. He won the World Grand Championship. That's, that's another nice horse right there. You did a good job. Yes. You did a good job. He, he, I think he's trying to copy his father a lot. <laughs> yeah. And his wife, because his wife has wore them roses a bunch of times. Yep, yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, Shannon or something else now. Yes. Did a good job. Right here on our Amateur All Day Pleasure World Grand Championship. Now this was a great class. That is, yep. You know this fall, these fall shows that we're gonna have, we, we've got some good ones that are still left. Uh -huh. After the Alabama Jubilee, we'll still have the uh, fall class, celebration yes. fall classic, mm -hmm. which will be a good show. And then we go to Tunica. Tunica, yeah. Tunica, I, I really like the Tunica. I'm glad we're going back there this year. I yeah. really am. I tell you, this class right here is very good for a beginner rider. Well, uh, it, a person it, that just like to ride. This is all day trail pleasure class. I mean, because the horses sit there and do a natural, smooth, easy gait. Just take it and, and have yeah. a good time. You know, there's a lot of them. They just like uh, Pam Bet told me. She said, "Jerry, she said I just want to ride." I said, "I don't care." Yeah. A performance. What now? She's got a performance for it. But they still this this all day pleasure and the country pleasure. Just it's just something that everybody can get involved in. That's right. And if you can't ride one of these horses, yeah, that's easier than driving a car. Well, you know, just like and the judge. He's picking what he thinks, what he likes. But that don't mean, as long as that horse do what you like him to do and pleases you, that's all he words. That's hey, all he counts. That's all you have to worry that's about. That's it. I be smoking Joe and Joel Johnson. Tanner and Tucker Johnson on that horse. You know, I, first time I saw this horse, I was at the barn. They was just having a little barn party. And they got that horse out and rode mm -hmm. And I watched it. I told him, I said, the horse right there is going to win its share of roses, or not roses, but ribbons yeah. is what I said. But now, he has accomplished that and then some. Yeah. So I, I cannot remember that horse being beat. No, that I horse really always, can't. that horse was a real nice horse. I remember that horse as a, as a yearling getting started. Yeah. Right here at Owner Amateur U6, the 17th Show Pleasure World Grand Championship. You see, that, that's another thing. We've got so many different divisions that you've got to find one that suits you. Yes. And right here, this Show Pleasure, that's what we need to have a youth showing on the sly. And that, that Show Pleasure class would suit him just fine. I tell you, that show that they have right before the celebration, that youth show, yeah. there's nothing but kids. You know, that's the first time I went to it was this year, and I really enjoyed it because it's all, every class that was in it was about a kid what? that's showing on different divisions, different that's type one of over horses. That's over in Belfast? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went over and interviewed a bunch of those youngsters, and I'm telling you, uh, they, was, they was there with one thing on their mind, competing. Competing, yeah. And that's, that interview you done was a real 
real good interview because I like to see them kids talk and you know explain well, they how they like know. about the horses and all that stuff and what they think about the horses. They, these kids, they get into it more than, more than adults, really. Yes. But it's good for them because they, they learn so much. That's why I like to go to the like, horse play and race track, yeah. places like that. They teach these kids how to care for a horse, how to take care of a horse. That's important. That, yeah. That's why I would love to see the academy back. Yeah. The academy did a lot of things that people don't realize. And they even had the academy for adults. Yes. And adults could go. Well, the academy, I mean, you can actually, the, the instructors can get out in the middle of the ring yeah. and help the, the kid right there. And you show him, but you can help him right there in the middle of the ring, help him, you know, to hold the hands and, uh, and everything else. I tell you what, this young lady right here, Every time she shows, she's in there, and she shows to win. Yes. But now her and this horse, they they improved a lot through the year. Allie Joe Jacobs, and I'm Coach Cal. So first, you got that grass green this oh, yeah. year, didn't it? Three-year-old World Grand Championship. You know, this was a good class, yes. a real good class, but I'd have took the horse that won it and gave anybody the field. Oh, you just, he, oh, I've he's, seen a nice, he's a real I, nice horse. I seen him when he was a two-year-old, and you could just about predict where he was going. Got great owners and a great trainer. That he just Doc's hadn't been back in but a couple of years. Yes. He, he decided to get out. And he just uh, and he jumped right back in. This horse right here, every round he makes he that cabinet better. horse, he, he gets better. better. He gets better and better. <laughs> he just keeps I mean, getting he, better as time goes. He's better and better. I'm gonna tell you, all them other horses is, is real nice hey, horses in that class. So nice there wasn't no slouch Jimmy in that McCall class. Was yeah. on a good one. He was on a good one. Michael uh, Casey Wright was on a good one. Yep. Right good there. One. Look at that. It wasn't a slouch in that ring. So I mean, yeah. that was really. Our four-year-old year is gonna be something else. But yes. We're gonna have some good ones. You know, I got a guy that sent me a, a message. Wants to be friends on Facebook and. But he, he, he messaged me on Messenger, and he was talking about the way it used to be before when he was younger and before he got out. And he was talking about the way these horses were today. Yes. And he, and, and he described them to a T. He said, you can tell that the caliber of the horse is so much better. Yeah. The quality. But the one thing that he noticed above all else was he told me he said you can tell these horses are so much freer going yeah that he said, i don't see any abuse in that horse that anything that you could question about the way they go well and these I'm horses are athletes now right i mean these horses they're bred to be uh, athletes. Yeah, that's right right there he is cavender knox blackburn bruce and robin mcdonald Everybody to enjoy watching this right before the North Carolina Championship. Yeah. And watch one of these World Grand Champions will show up up there mm -hmm. and get beat. But one thing about it, it won't be the first time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> won't be the first time. But I bet that ain't one of them. That horse is just great. He really is. That's one that is a good horse. exceptional horse. Yeah. Guess what? Well, we'll be right back after these <laughs> messages. <laughs> Thank you. 
six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. A gin to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. More of What a Horse, coming up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to clip two because we got a bunch more World Grand Championship oh, yeah. videos. You can tell the people all about what every one of these horses is doing. I sure You're will. You're the trainer. Uh, as I'm a maintainer. <laughs> maintainer. You're the maintainer. <laughs> I'm a maintainer. <laughs> Who, who's the trainer? Jeremy's the trainer. Jeremy's the trainer. You're I'm the maintainer. maintainer. Yeah. You're the ground man. Yes, I'm the maintainer. I thought Brad was a ground man. He is too. Two ground man. Mm -hmm. Jeremy's lucky. Yeah, the younger he is, the more trainer you are. We, we didn't turn to be maintained. The more, the more ground people you need. Yeah, that's right. The more ground. That's ground what it is. is. He right. just needs a bunch of, a bunch of uh, ground men. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to some of these other trainers. <laughs> I tell you, this here is a good horse right here. Philly class, world grand champion this year. Oh, Kayla Balkum, she's on a real good mare. So proud for her. You don't realize how many good two-year-old fillies out there until you just put a clad, a ring full of them and you get to watch them. Well, I'm so proud for Kayla right there. I'll take her and give you the give you the field. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I thought I thought she did outstanding. She did. Really she did, did a real good job on that. She uh, and I'm gonna tell you, the people that own that horse, they're super good people. Yes. This is the first World Grand Champion two-year-old filly. Yes. I'm a Dixie Dolly. And Kayla Ball. Uh huh. Stephanie and Nora Capital. Stephen, that's supposed to be Stephen and Nora Capital. I tell you what, now she's a good one. That's right, but that, I like this. I'm glad they started that class, the two year Philly class. I mean, because now people start looking at these Phillies in a whole different light. Right, that's right. 
and take a look at the one that your barn is looking good. Yes. Ponies World Grand Championship. This this was a good class. Yes. They had a lot of talent in there. I am and, and I, I, I am a dark rain favorite. Uh, I'm a fan of that horse. He is got a great walk. And every time you see him, he's he's hitting that list. Yeah, you're I mean, right. He, he does. Everybody talks about him, about how good he is, and he is. He's exceptional. Very exceptional horse. You know, like I say, every time I watch, you know, you don't get to see all these classes a lot at the celebration because you're working or you're here and there. But then when you come back and watch it on this video. I mean, it's a wonderful thing to sit here and just watch and just and look at them. And this time next year, you come back and look at the same class and you'll just be just as excited about it now than you was oh, yeah. then you, you are now. I tell you, when, when I see a video of a, a great horse, I mean, one that just makes me sit there and look. Yes. Like, I go back and I look at Honor's four-year-old world grand champion. Holy moly. When he catches a that's high gear, yeah, it goes on the reverse. I mean, he laps that field, and that, that just watching him go just tears y'all. It, it ain't nothing like these videos. No, nope. it, it ain't. Memories, buddy. Memories. Memories. They have one with Ritz and Billy Gray retiring. I yes. still get chills every time I watch no. it. Right there. Now that right there. Oh, that's a good horse. Thanks. Taylor did does such a great job with that horse. It's unreal. Really does, and the crowd appreciated. It. She got it done. Molly Walters family. I like the way that horse go. That horse with his head sit back up there yeah, in your, in your lap there. He's wearing I mean, that bra. Yeah. Saying, "Look at me." Here's your 15, two and under World Grand Championship. Mr. Adcock there, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, he likes them horses. Bob's a good He buddy. is a good guy. He, he has got some outstanding horses too. He doesn't ride no slouches, that's yeah. for sure. They make good videos and yeah. good pictures. And you know something else about these horses and how smooth these horses are? I see Ray out there that's pregnant. No. That's riding a show in the competition. It's about only the other only yeah. competition that you can show and you can be pregnant and still ride and, comp and have a fact. competition. That is a fact. You know. You don't have to worry about being jowled up and down, jumped around. around. That's jumped. right. You just ride your horse and go to it. Right there he is, a kingpin in Bob Adcock, your reserve world grand champion. I really like him. But I'm, I'm like, Bob's got three horses that to me are just outstanding. And uh, the two, the, the three-year-old, well, no, he, he it's the three-year-old, 15-2, and then the king thing. Yeah. Now those horses, to me, very, very Re special. Special very horse, special. yeah. On our amateur 6 to 11, Mares and Gildas World Grand Championship. Right here had a lot of people standing on their head. Yep, it did. Sure did. They're looking, wondering, what's going to be next? What are they going to do? Well, these kids, they, they come in, Jerry. Most of them ride better horses than oh, their yeah, parents. Oh, yeah, that's ride. right. You exactly <laughs> right. Seem to me like the the children and the and the wives 
Always take the good mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. And leave the dead with what's left what's over. What's left over. And sometimes the dead get or grand dead, <laughs> whatever gets put in a seat somewhere that he's the new cheering section. section yeah. <laughs> Right there is Dollar Silver Collector. See, Tom Ware was in the cheering yeah, section. Uh -huh. And he shows. Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean Ware. Yep. Now, now I know when, when it's like to see them granddaddies. We, we get puffed up when, we, when our grandkids oh, yeah. do good. Ain't nothing like them grandkids now. <laughs> Here's your owner amateur show pleasure world grand championship. That's right. And it wouldn't be for the blue. Blue, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of these owners have got to where they watch horses warm up. Yeah. And they know going in there what their best what shot their is. What their best shot is, yeah. Because everybody wants to win. Yeah. But you know that horse, Epic, his mama is a real good, what you call a real good broodmare. Because he, she had two or three coats, three coats of world champion horses. Every coat she had turned out to be. When you, if you got a good mare, and um, any of the breeders, I don't care who they are, your great breeders will tell you, if you ain't got a good mare. That's right. Epic and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm, your world grand champion show pleasure. The horse that John Allen won the world grand championship with, Raul J, is that the same mama Z's out of it? Yep, there you mm -hmm. go. But that's what a lot of people, it just, uh, talk, when you talk to your breeders, the yes. ones that's been breeding for years and years and years. Lewis Hawkersmith told me one time, he said, Jerry, that if you ain't got a mare, you're wasting your time. Yeah. And it's true. And his daughter, Paige Edwards, she'll tell you that in a heartbeat. That's right. On amateur three-year-old world grand champion. I'll be honest, this one right here, after watching the class, was a, a, a surprise. Yeah. Me. Really would. That horse right there, it just, I, I didn't. He's just too good. Plain and simple, yeah. he's, just, he's just too good. But as again, like I was saying earlier, if your horse does do what you think he should do and pleases you, that's what it's counts. All that matters. Because the top five to six horses in this class, you can throw them up in the air and the first one hit the ground, you could tie them first. That's it. That's how, I mean, it was that close. It wasn't one horse is dominated the other one that's that bad. No, it's just you know, a bunch of good horses. Bunch and of good that's horses. what we have created in this industry. Yes. Is a lot of real good horses and horses that can go in there and win on any given that, night. That's right. But I've always, I've never believed there was a horse that couldn't be beaten. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right. 
on a given night, all of them can be beat, and, and that's what we have to accept. But right here, Morna Maverick and Bob Adcock was your reserve world grand champion, and my vote was for him from because I, yeah. I really liked him. He's just a great horse. And gets the, I mean, gets it done. Yeah. Four-year-old Canner World Grand Championship. This was this was a tough class. Oh, yeah, it, it wasn't was that many in it, but it was a tough class. But I have to agree with the one that won because he just looked good. Period. Not a great big horse, but he, he knows how to use yes. everything that he's got. And that young man, hey, what can you say? He's one of the young guns. Oh, yeah. He's got a good ground man. Oh, yeah. He got a good <laughs> ground man. See, he got that maintainer. That's that it. one used to train, but now he's he can maintain them, keep them horses maintained. John Allen, he, he, he just got one of the master controls out yeah. there. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's a real but good you know, horse. In the back of my mind, I keep seeing Ali Joe on that horse. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he would, I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe he will measure pony. Yeah. He's not a big horse, you can tell that. But he is loud, very yeah, loud. he is. Got a big walk to him. I believe MTSU should use him as a mascot. Hey, they should. You know, that's another thing I gotta say. John Allen did something that I was very happy with. He carried that horse up there and, and to the ball game. Yeah, to the high school ball game. And sure did, uh -huh. and rode him before the show. We need more of that. Yeah, we A do. lot more of that's that. That's right. He did that in Shelby. We need someone to yeah. do it in Tullahoma, Manchester, Franklin County. Lewisburg, Murfreesboro, Mur all yeah. these, every, every town that we have walking horses in, we need somebody that will promote Mur this horse. horse. That's right. Tell you what, now, he, he got it he, done he right there. He got it done now. That horse is like a little machine. Yes, he is. A good one. Yeah. That's a good one right yeah, there. Yeah, a good you horse. Can't, you can't beat that one. No, he can get it done. And he, he's a big horse. I was tickled for him. I really was. Me I was tickled too. for Jake and his family. I was tickled for R.M. Kelly. And Spencer, I, I mean, yeah. Spencer, it, all of them well deserved. Yeah. And that's not taking anything away from the others either because there was three exceptionally uh, good, good horses, horses in, in the there. ring. Yeah. There. Hey. Oh, that's a good horse, too. Tell me about it. I mean, that's what you're saying. You had three good ones. Oh, yeah. Zaro Jr., he was good, good too. Mm -hmm. And, and I've been tickled to death for Kim. And I'll tell you something else.
the inspections that these horses were going through. Oh yeah, to You're get right. in there, and because they they did not want they did not want horses in the ring, and they couldn't find anything that they could turn them down yeah. for. That speaks volumes right there. there. You're so, exactly right. You can do your deal now. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up to host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, welcome back. But we got more videos. Oh, yeah. We, we're going to keep on rocking and rolling right on down. Oh, I like these videos now. These videos are... <laughs> hey. I can sit and watch them all the time. Me, I, I can go too. up at night and get on YouTube and watch, pull them, some of them back up. And uh, my, my wife said, we got a good movie now. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, but there's a good horse. Hey, good here. horse, that's right. <laughs> all right. Owner Amateur Youth 1217 Mares and Gildens World Grand Championship. 12 to 17. This, this was a good class. Good class. This is, it was a real good class. That's one thing I will say. The quality at the celebration this year was, was exceptional. Yeah. It really was. It was exceptional. class right here. I will say this, I was, I was a little disappointed in, in, the, in the size of the crowd. Yeah, I really was. I, 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 I'm, it was still a good crowd, don't get me wrong, yeah. it was. And we had an exceptional celebration. But I was just thinking that it would be a little bit more. Yeah. But that, that, everybody always wants a little bit more. Give an inch, they'll take yeah. a mile. Well, Jerry, you know, they have a good crowd there, but I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people that watch them shows back at the barn. I know. I know. Well, the showgrounds was packed back, now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And now some people will leave early and go home. If it's hot, you know, they leave early and go yeah. home and watch the live stream. Uh, if it's Rainy, they'll go home and watch the live stream. Here she is, World Grand Champion, Extra Special Jose and Emma Wright for Kegel and Wright. I'm going to have to send that to Gail. She'll get a yeah. kick out of it. They didn't get to come this year. That's a real 
real nice walking, shaking, that's getting it done, a, horse. That's an extra special mare. Yeah. Emma's special too. Yeah. On amateur mares and gilded world grand championship. You know, there's a lot of people they'll set up there in in FaceTime. Oh yeah. You know, they'd be sitting there videoing the class and send it to somebody but, else and uh -huh. sitting home watching. Watch it. Yeah. But there's nothing like being there. Being there and seeing it in live. And right there, it's a good one matter. of the reasons why. Yep. I was very, very happy for Molly. I think they said that this was the seventh year that she's had limitless. Okay. Nice mare. Oh, yeah. A lot of people love to have that mare. Yeah. She's limitless in Molly Walters for Kelsey Andrews, your owner of amateur mares and gilding world grand champion. I couldn't be more happy for anybody yeah. than I am for her. It's a fine lady right there. Yeah. And she really is. She's a good lady. On Amateur Country Pleasure, World Grand Champion. Just know what them classes you're referring yeah. to. Mm -hmm. Anybody, you can get up there and you can learn how to do this. And I'm gonna just tell you, it takes a special horse to do this right here. Oh yeah. To do this gear. Any horse, so, and I mean that horse got to have a natural born head shape and everything else from day one when you first start them. So, I mean, every horse don't do not do this right well, here. It's just like only 10% make performance. Yeah. You got a certain percentage that, that only make this, make, that's right. make this. And then, but I always look at all the other divisions that we've got for horses. Yes. And, and, and a lot of them don't end up in the show ring, they end up in competition, this, Yeah. but not in the show ring. So. It, that's the great thing about the Tennessee Walker yeah. horse. There is a place for that for horse. For that horse, that's right. There is a special place for it. But to have that natural head shake like that and everything, that's something, you know, that's pretty much born in the horses. Right there he is. Now he's going to the breeding barn. Yes. Line Adam Beto and Rachel T. to Bow and Rachel T., your owner amateur country pleasure world grand champion. That horse is going to do that from now on. Oh, yeah. said they were going to retire him and put him in the stud barn. Right here's another great one, Gigi's Majestic. Mm -hmm. Hey, she won two reserve world champion, a, a reserve world grand, a reserve world grand championship, a reserve world championship, and then a world championship. Yeah. So she, she had a great celebration. And Elsie's just, she's a peach. Yep. Two-year-old World Grand Championship. And I 
I will tell you this, Jerry, I wouldn't take none of them for the one that we've got. Yeah. Now I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Oh, yeah. Hey, what? This was a tough class. Man. Oh, yeah, it was a tough class. There wasn't no cakewalk out there. Uh -uh. This type of class that you glad that you're not standing out there judging. Oh yeah. Look who I am. And Casey Wright from Bill and Debbie Woods. Your two-year-old world grand champion. Canter World Grand Championship. Now this was a good one. Oh yeah. One. I mean a good one. I don't know, but I believe that we're I'm fixing to have a great stud coat. Oh yeah. By honors, which it someday I hope ends up in this class. Now the crowd looks straight out of there because of the big rain that they had there. But That's I just want to let everybody that know that the... There's a lot of things that will keep people out of the show ring. And they'll keep them in the barn and keep them. There's a bunch of people on the stands. Yeah. But, you know, it's just best to let people know different things like that because you have some people out here saying, look at the crowd, ain't nobody there. Yeah. But they, that's due to the rain. It'll run them out of there. Yes. There's I'm Jordan and Kenny Compton, Della Compton, owner amateur counter world grand champion. I was tickled for Kenny. I really was. The, uh, that Count the Compton family has meant a lot to this woman. Oh yes. To this day, we still include the video of him and NYPD. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's a sight now. I'm Jordan. I like that name. Oh, yeah. Here's your walking horse world grand championship. You got to show this class. Oh, yeah. You know Jen Shadow so Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jordan. Baron Man with a spoon. Got mm -hmm. him a new mount. This, this was a good class. There's revival. This, this is a pretty good class right here. Yeah, it was. There's a lot of talent out there. Yeah.
Mark talking it up, ain't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mark is a good dancer. Yeah, he is. Tell you what, this, this was a tough class. Oh, it was. There's nothing easy about it. Everybody can tell you why they thought this horse won and why they thought that horse won. won. Yeah. But that's the way it's always going to be. Oh, yeah. Not sure how much time we got, but I do want to remind everybody the North Carolina Championship is 6th through the 8th. That starts tomorrow night. It's in Fletcher, North Carolina at the Western North Carolina Myra Helton Center. You can call, no, North Carolina. You can call Myra Helton at 704 718 4152 and ask for information. Start time is Thursday and Friday is 4, 4, or 545. Saturday is 5 p.m. Judges, Dean Baird, Nathan Clark, and Mickey McCormick. Now, that's three. Mm -hmm. that'd be, that'd, they'd do a good job. Mickey knows a good horse. I know Dean them do. East Tennessee Fall Classic, October 20th through the 22nd in White Pine, Tennessee at the Smoky Mountain Expo. Uh, contact Bill Daltrey, 423-836-3607. And start times Thursday and Friday is 6 p.m. Saturday is 5 p.m. We're going to Derek Monahan, Chad Adams, Sam Helton are the judges, but we're going to Alabama Jubilee down in Decatur, Alabama. Friday night, 6 p.m. Start time Saturday night, 5 p.m. Brent Grider, Ryan Parker, and Chris Sand. I got all that in in that amount of time. Yeah. I want to tell one thing. I want everybody in North Carolina, you see Lucky Collins, I want y'all to give her a hug because she lost her husband, Don Collins. That's right. Appreciate it, Jerry. See everybody next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.